Today we're talking about investing in non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Is it wise or is it foolish? And what should you be doing? Investing Secrets with Kevin Attride. I just listened to an interview by Gary V. It was very interesting. He says that you should be investing in non-fungible tokens, NFTs. He says there's huge opportunity, but it's going to crash. That's when you really should buy. And then 30 years from now, it's going to be worth a bajillion dollars. Maybe he's right. Maybe you should go invest. Or maybe you really should be investing in something other than NFTs because NFTs are not helpful for you today. They're not helpful for you tomorrow. And they're definitely not going to be helpful for you next year. Maybe even 10 years if anyone remembers what they are 10 years from now. Okay, so sometimes a few people get in and they become really wealthy. And many times those people are propped up as having great success while the vast majority of people lose their shirts or at least lose all the money that they put in. And you know what that's called? It's called gambling. Think about that. Are you gambling or are you investing? And one recent NFT sold for $91.8 million. It's creating all this hype that ultimately is leading down a path of getting more and more and more people interested to buy in, in something they call an asset that might just be pixels. And so are you going to participate in that speculation? You can go to Las Vegas and you can expect to win, but ultimately you're gambling because the house always wins. You need to think about, are you investing in assets? Are you investing in a speculation by a mass of people that say this is going to be worth more in the future when it produces no value? When it comes to investing, stick to the fundamentals. Does this thing, does this investment, does it put money into my pocket every single month or every year? Or does it hold up the value at the rate of inflation over long periods of time? I've just described assets as opposed to liabilities where you put your money in and it can likely be worth less in the future, maybe even go to zero. Think about how you're investing in the right assets. And I'm sure you want me to name a few. Let me say this. The wealthiest Americans utilize private banking. I recommend the experts at Living Wealth when you're ready to implement this strategy. Real estate makes a lot of sense because not only does it produce a sizable return here and now producing monthly cash flow, it also has tremendous tax benefits. Certain businesses also make a lot of sense based on their fundamentals, how they performed in the past, and their expectation of performing in the future. Gold, while it doesn't produce cash for you every single month, it does hold up against inflation, and that's been proven over thousands of years. And yet there are certain techniques with precious metals that allow you to build and compound your ounces. Real estate, businesses, gold, those are tangible things that produce money or returns over a period of time. They're tangible assets you can invest in, not an arrangement of pixels that a year later people laugh at you and call you a fool. Think about how you're investing. Don't be swayed by the masses or sucked into the hype. And there are more investing secrets that are quite powerful for you to build and maximize your wealth. As a matter of fact, I've created a free guide to help you to be more effective in your investing journey. It's called the Top Investing Hacks the Exclusive Rich Are Not Telling Us. And I want you to take action right now by clicking the link in the description below. I want you to have this exclusive access so that you can understand the strategies and the tactics the rich use to maximize and grow their wealth. All right, it's time for you to experience financial freedom.
The information contained in this episode are opinions not to be used as individual guidance. As always, consult your own financial team for your investment decisions.